Thank you, Speaker. Here. For Vancouver East. Speaker, I have four petitions to table today. Uh, two of them actually are off the same petition, so I'll table them together. The petitioners are calling for the government to repeal Section 38.1c of the Immigration Refugee Protection Act. They note that uh, the immigration law actually discriminates against people with disability, and particularly uh, it provides for the assessment of excessive demand as arbitrary, inaccurate, and does not amount for uh, does not account for the contributions of the individuals and their families before they determine that they are not uh, admissible to Canada. It also notes that. Uh, in fact, this is in contravention of the, Can of the UN uh, Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. And lastly, it notes that this law is in contravention of Section 15 of the Canadian Charter of Rights. Uh, and so, therefore, Mr. Speaker, um, they would like the government to repeal Section 38.1c of the Immigration Refugee Protection Act. The second petition that I have to table, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, again also relates to the uh, immigration portfolio. Uh, in this instance, is calling for the government to um, exempt the travel loans for all refugees. It notes that the refugees uh, face extreme violence and conflict and persecution, uh, and they are forced to uh, be displaced from their country of origin. And the travel loan uh, is something that refugees have to take on as a burden when they come to Canada, although the government recognized the significance of that burden by waiving the travel loan for the Syrian refugees for November 4, 2015 to February 29, 2016. Yet no other refugees will benefit from the waiving of the travel loan. So the petitioners are calling for the government to waive the travel loans for all refugees. And lastly, uh, Mr. Speaker, the petition after table. Uh, refers to the pipeline expansion. The petitioner notes that uh, the pipeline, uh, Trans Mountain Pipeline, uh, brings massive environmental and envi uh, economic risk uh, and no substantive benefit to British Columbia or to its local residents. It notes that uh, an estimated uh, about 50 permanent jobs would be created with this new pipeline, uh, and many of which would not be uh, for local workers in our own country. It notes that the Liberal and Conservative government has undermined the National Energy Board review process, resulting in many BC residents being unfairly prevented from stating their concerns. It also notes that there's no known scientific technology to clean up the bitumen when there is a spill. And it's uh, finally noting that the government also had approve, approved the formerly Kinder Morgan uh, Trans Mountain uh, pipeline expansion under Harper's uh, process, and so therefore is asking for the government to not proceed with the pipeline expansion.